Hey, so this is day 20 of my 30 Days of React Challenge, and today I have implemented drag and drop to create a React trash can. Let's take a look. Okay, so for a quick demo, here we can see we have a trash can and we have various pieces of rubbish. Um, you can pick these pieces up and drag them in the can, which deletes them as so. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Um, I thought that drag and drop, when I was first reading about it, I thought it would be really complicated, but once I did this, I realized it's actually super simple to implement, which was cool. Um, the first thing that I need to explain is how to make those, how to make objects draggable. So there's actually an inbuilt HTML5 attribute um, that we use for this. So it, it can be applied to like an image, um, a div, any element, you just have to add um, draggable to it like so. So once you have made your items draggable, um, what you need to do next is set up the event handlers to handle what you want to happen like as each item is picked up and dragged. If we jump back here, you can see um, I've actually created this little status so we can see which um, functions are being called at each stage of the drag. So on start, on drag over, and on drop like this. Um, so if we look over here, we have the three stages of drag and drop. So on drag start, what we're doing is actually, well, we're obviously updating our status, so we can see that. And then we're taking the ID of the trash um, and saving it up here in state. Um, then on drag over, we're actually doing nothing in this app. It's just sort of updating that status so we can see that we're dragging over. But like, if you wanted to, you could... Um, I don't know, maybe you'd want to change the background color of the div or something like that. Um, and then the third stage is on drop, which is here, and that's when we're actually kind of doing something in the app that I've created. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but um, upon drop, what we're doing is copying our trash array up here. Um, we're extracting that target trash as well from state, um, as has been declared when we do drag start. Um, and then we are sorting through the items in this array, removing the one that we want to trash, and then um, creating this new trash array and setting that as state. That's it really. Um, and that's all there really is to explain about this one in a short video. Um, cool. Thanks.